All right, hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get through the game Sun or S-O-N um, in about 15 minutes or so. This will get you all four trophies if you are looking for trophies because you're a trophy hunter. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, so at the very start, it does tell you L3 is sprint, so we're probably going to use that for most of this. Um, I will go slow when we're actually inside collecting keys and stuff so you know exactly where to go, but for now, we will sprint. Alright, so this house, you can skip this. There's nothing in there that you need, uh, nothing you can pick up, just some things to see. So just keep following this trail. And then you'll come over to this table. You can pick up this little walkie-talkie. It's not necessary. You don't really need it for anything else in the game. But just as a reference point, I'm going to pick it up if it'll let me. There we go. All right, and then just keep following this trail some more. Okay, so if you go right, you'll see this upside down cross with a little light on it. Just keep following the trail. Okay, oh, I'm stuck on a snowman, there we go. All right, so you wanna go into this playground of dreams. This is where we're gonna get our first trophy. Okay, so when you get down to this little slide, if you look across, you'll see that green light over there. Head on over to that green light. Okay, and this is where VS Forever will pop. You can kind of see it, but it's written in this like tree right here. VS Forever or V heart S, excuse me, that's what it says. But yeah, this is where that trophy will pop. So once it does, go ahead and turn around and you're gonna go up back to the entrance of the actual playground. Okay, so once you get out, this is where you came from, that light, that's the tunnel that you came from. So you wanna go up this hill and you're gonna follow this path up and around a pretty good ways before we get to the building that we need to get to. So just keep following it and I'll tell you when we're there.
Okay, I'm just going to run past this as a reference point. Um, that's basically all this is, so you know you're on the right track. It's exactly where you want to be. Just keep running. Okay, again, you don't need to go into this building or look at anything. I'm just going here as a reference point so you know that we are passing this in case you get lost and you find that. Okay, you should see that green light up there. There's a door right next to this that we are going to go through, and that's going to start the actual game portion where we need to find the keys and unlock the gates and all that good stuff. So when it's glowing red, hit L2 to open it up and go on inside. Okay, so once we're inside, we're going to go, I'm not going to sprint through this part, um, just so you know exactly where I'm going. You're going to go down this hallway first, it's going to be filled with all sorts of creepy things, creepy lights, creepy gates, all sorts. Okay, so when you get to this little intersection, you'll notice that there's a locked gate to your left, sorry, to your right an open hallway to your left, and then uh, this red area right in front of you. So first you want to go through the red area, and this is where we're going to grab our first key. Every time. Right. Okay, so when it's glowing, just hit L2, and grab the key. All right, and you can sprint back if you want. So I'm just going to do it really quick. Okay. And back to the area. <laughs> it's, it's so dark. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna back out. Alright, so we have the gate, red area, open area. So go through the gate first. This is where you'll pick up the second key. Make sure the key is glowing red uh, so that you can pick it up. You can't actually go through this door. As creepy as it is, there's nothing there. So head on and back up the stairs. And sprint back to this if you want. Okay, so this is where we came in. Red area. So you're going to go straight across to that open area. Okay, so just keep following this down. You can hit this little bunny to save, wait till it's highlighted red, and then hit L2 to actually save. And then open the gate. Alright, and you're just gonna go down this hallway with all the creepy dolls and creepy doll heads. Okay, so it's kind of dark, but there's only one way to go, and it's where these lights are shining over here. So go ahead and head on over. And follow the thing that you probably don't want to be following right now. Okay, so when you get to this part, you're going to see a gate and really loud static. This is where you uh, came from. There's nothing in this room except for a really loud radio, so I'm going to go on And then that gate's closed and it doesn't open, so you're going to go towards this one down here. When you get to the end, you're going to see an open hallway, 
and then a blood trail. So follow the blood trail, of course. Open one door. Open two doors. Open three doors. And open four. And at the end of this hallway is a key. So head back on up. down the opposite end. Okay, again, there's multiple paths here. There's straight ahead, and then this purple gate here. And if you go straight ahead, you'll notice it goes down. There's nothing down there. You don't have to check it out. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. So go back to the gate leading to the purple area, and that key unlocks that. about the bunny. Okay, so again, two paths, one gate that's locked, and then one with the red lights, and this will lead you to the little housing area. Okay, so keep following this path along, and you'll see that building 19 is lit up. So go on inside, and this is where you will get your second trophy. This is the Sin Trophy. Alright, and if you go into this room next to the guy hanging upside down, there's a lever. Hit L2 to turn it on back out outside and you'll see that building 170 is now lit up so go inside building 170 next to this super loud washing machine is the next lever so go ahead and flip that on head back outside and now building 11 is turned on, so go inside. She won't attack you, you're fine. There's another lever in here, turn it on. Go back outside again. Now building number one is turned on. Go inside. Now you need to go around this cross here to get into this room. Let's flip the lever. Go back outside. And now building 412 is open so head on in and this is where you'll pick up your next key okay so these are the numbers that you want to remember for a future trophy ignoring number 19 because that was already lit you want to remember them in the order that they turned on so 170 11 1 and 412 170 11 1 412 so once you have your key you're going to go towards building number one, but back through the cave that you came in. And then just go straight ahead and open up this gate. Once you get to this area, you'll see that this door is locked, and there's also a gate right here that's locked. And if you turn around, there's a not colored light hallway, so go in, go past the slug things, and then at the table down at the very end is a key. So turn back around. Alright, and this key actually opens up this gate, not the blue gate right next to you. So open up, go on inside. Okay, 
so there's nothing straight ahead there's nothing in that room you can check it out if you want but it's not necessary for now we're going to go to the church <laughs> Okay, so this is where you'll get the first trophy. So don't click on the middle guy yet. Like, do not touch him. So you want to click on the mannequins so that their numbers are the house numbers in the order that you unlocked them. So we're gonna go 170, 11, 12, appear and the trophy will unlock so once you get your key turn around go back inside turn right and this key will open up the lock leading to the blue area so right after you pass this light take a left Okay, so once it's open, go ahead and follow this hallway all the way down. You can ignore the writing on the wall. Um, it's just there to creep you out. It's a pretty good job of it sometimes. Okay, and when you get down to this area, there's going to be two ways that you can go. Um, sorry, there's going to be three ways, but two of them are locked. So if you come over here, You'll see that this gate locked and then straight across from it is a gate with the word decide behind it locked so from here turn left this is where you came from down this way so you're gonna go this way and go down some stairs And at this first light, you're going to turn right and see that there is the word end. Now down this hallway and at the end of the hallway is a classroom that has the one and only enemy in it. Um, the key is on a desk that she's standing by, so you need to get her on the other side of the room so that you can run and grab the key. So I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so there she is. And the key is on the desk, it's where that light is over there, so... You want to get her on this side of the room. Watch out for the desk, don't get yourself trapped over here. So. She does move pretty slow and you can sprint once you're ready to go. So. A little further... Alright. Now this key is a little finicky in regards to where exactly it'll let you pick it up from. If she gets too close, she will kill you, so just keep making sure that she's back here. Ah, let's go. Alright. Alright, got the key. And this body. Okay, so this key will open up the door that's across from the gate with a decide a sign behind it so when you get to this first light go ahead and take a left and go back up the stairs just keep going all the way across until you hit this gate and then turn left all right and then just follow this way Um, this person will eventually disappear. It'll be really dark, but you need to keep going straight and then turn left and it'll be in this big open room. And then around to the left. And again to the left to get the last key. So go ahead and pick it up. Just go back the way you came. Alright, 
and when you go up the stairs just go straight across and you'll see where it says decide again and unlock the gate and this one it doesn't matter which way you choose you can choose home or J we're gonna choose J and this will actually unlock the last trophy sorry giving you all four trophies so go through one door the other ending is a lot quicker it just calls you selfish and ends the game so if you want to get this done quicker go ahead and choose home instead of J one it just ends you climb up the mountain and walk forward for a little bit and then eventually the game will end um, and that's it that is all there is to sun s-o-n sun so cool good job guys hope you got all four trophies you needed um yeah thanks for watching